Okay, so uh, yesterday I uh, tried recording some uh, McLaren on Nuremberg to see what you know what I could get my lap time down to. You know, nothing special. I think I got to like 6:57, so under seven minutes. Not bad after a couple of laps. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is uh, just kind of take out the uh, the Audi and just see how I uh, how I compare my time there. One thing I've noticed that with the Audi, um, it's extremely easier to drive on this course um, when it comes to keeping the car settled and. Uh, I think uh, like brake modulation too seems a little bit easier. Um, I can already see that in some of the turns I'm able to kind of like uh, trail block, trail brake in and out of the turns, keeping a lot more speed than I would the McLaren. But this, uh, the one thing about this car is that it likes to, uh, once you lose control. Uh, once you lose control, it's pretty hard to, uh, like, I could, like, I could side, I could, with the the McLaren, I can completely go sideways and almost get back control. It's, it's nuts. Um, and, uh, this car is completely unforgiving when it comes to the rumble strips. Let's go ahead and take a somewhat, uh, you know, warm-up lap. Try to get a nice, good foundation of a line down. Like right there, like with the McLaren, I'd have to brake a lot easier. I wouldn't be able to trail trail brake in those turns as much. Um, it could maybe my brake bias needs to be adjusted or something, but. This turn actually is a lot easier in that car than the McLaren. McLaren just seems to not be able to turn in as easy, even though you would think it, that's the opposite. Usually, that's usually the uh, concern with the with the Audi is that uh, it's got a really really bad oversteer, in my opinion, compared to some other cars. But here, it doesn't seem so bad. Almost lost it there, going a little too hot. Another one of my favorite turns in the course. I need to take it wider there. Catch it a little bit. Could have probably stayed in uh, third. Except by no means am I a, a pro at the Nuremberg. But you know, practice makes perfect, so. Uh, the courses you like to race, you should definitely practice them. A 
Wonder why I'm. Is that not in fifth? That uh, turn there is way easier than the McLaren. You know, this car gets so unsettled easily. McLaren uh, doesn't lose its back in there like the Audi does. If you don't have a good line there, you can definitely go off in the dirt really easy. Another one that's, uh, I think the Audi is pretty known, pretty well known for not taking that turn very good. All right, let's see if I can do a competitive lap here. One sixty one is pretty much with what the other cars get at. Let's go ahead and do our first hot lap. See, like right there, man. This car is glued to the inside. Uh, the McLaren's a little bit harder to take to that turn, especially after that trail break. Let's 
Try not to hit these curbs with this car. If you do, you're gonna have a bad day. McLaren definitely doesn't. The McLaren, I can think I can a little bit faster through there. Get it a little bit faster on the uh, the gear shift as well. A little bit slower because of uphill. I get a good exit. Here we go. Straight out. This turn I can pretty much go flat out almost. Yep, flat out. Messed up there. Went too fast. gentle on her there. This, this turn always seems to get me. Back in the day anyways. Yeah, it's time to mess up on that turn now. Try to push it to the last second. Ooh, 
Ooh, not bad. 6.48. Alright, so my fastest time in the McLaren <laughs> is uh, 6.57, so uh, I could definitely probably improve that time quite a bit, but I think that's pretty big difference just changing cars between 6.48 and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Yeah. Definitely. Definitely there's a big difference. 648.4 compared to 657 with the uh with the good old McLaren. I think I'll probably stick with the the Audi.